welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be another tutorial and of course it's all because of the 4th of July I wanted to make a look that you can wear this today or any other day especially for those of you that are not afraid of having bold eyes and a bold lip so I was sent a few items by ABPR Danielle she was really kind to send me a few things one of the things that she sent me that I wore on this tutorial and it's because it's summertime you know that you have to take care and protect your skin especially when you are on the sun not just summertime throughout the whole year especially now that you're going to the pool you know you're working on your tan if that's what you're doing or, or whatever the case may be this is an SPF 30 UVA UVB protection antioxidants and it's water resistant up to 80 minutes and it absorbs quickly and it's non greasy so I apply this on my face and then this is like so handy i mean i think this is the first time that i actually have sunscreen that it's in a spray form which is like so much easier uh, let me tell you they also sent me a few nail polishes by l'oreal but they were like obviously the theme for my look they actually came with two really nice colors i will feature them on another tutorial also urban decay illuminating but i didn't want to wear it just because this was going to be too much for this look already but i did my nails today here i have a few stars going on here i have put a little shimmery on top of this corally red color if you want to see this you can always follow me on my instagram and look at the nail polish that I uh, used on these nails. I will also list them down below in case you're interested. So without further ado, if you guys are interested on this 4th of July look, then just keep on watching. Um, so first, I like to start with protecting our skin and I first apply this L'Oreal Paris Benson Scare Silky Sheer Lotion with an SPF 30 which uh, has UVA, UVB protection and antioxidants. As usual you know that we have to prime our eyes and I use my NYX eyeshadow base. We're going to use some transition colors and I've been like, I don't know how many times I'm, I've been using but I don't get sick of it. I hope you guys don't get tired of me using these eyeshadows over and over again but I just love them especially if you have a tense skin tone this is great. And they are the NYX matte eyeshadows. I'm gonna go ahead and start with this one that's called Blame It On Midnight and I'm using this Eco Tools eyeshadow brush and we're just gonna go ahead and apply this only on our lips. other is a little bit more on the dark side it has like a red undertone with my coastal scents to find a brush and I like it that it's a little bit more pointy because this is great so I can apply this right on my crease then I like to blend it out with my Sedona lace my EB 13 For the blue eyeliner, I like to use my Mali Waterproof Eyeliner and this is one is in Sailor. So first I'm going to apply this and then I'm going to apply an eyeshadow. We're going to draw a nice cat eye. And for those of you that are not good with drawing in a cat eye, sometimes this is what you can do. You literally put this on the, uh, on the corner of your nose by the outer corner and you can easily like draw a little Chi Chi right here. See the little line? By the way, this is with my blue eyeshadow, which I'll get back to that. Then with the same angle liner, I like to blend it in. And you're going to also apply this on your lower lash line. So don't forget to attach this to your cat eye. And again, use your angle brush, and we're just going to blend this. Then I'm using another Mali black pencil. I put this on my waterline and also tight line my eye. Then here I'm using my Wet n Wild uh, palette and it's called Blue Had Me at Hello. And I'm going to be using this color. This is a really nice blue shimmery eyeshadow. I'm going to apply this right on top of my blue liner.
you see how this eyeshadow intensifies the whole look because I felt like this blue pencil was a little bit more dark and just gives a little pop with the sheerness of this eyeshadow color. Now for my brow bone, I just want to make this simple because it's already going to be a bold look. And I like to use my Eve Pearl Dual Salmon Concealer. And this one is a medium 10. You can use any concealer that you have that's probably like a shade later than your skin tone. You want to go right ahead and intensify, intensify the color on your crease and just touch up a little bit. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes and I'm also going to apply uh, mascara, which this is the Tarte Light Camera Lashes on my top and lower lashes. I also applied some falses because of course you can't go wrong with some false lashes. And these are my ultimate favorite, the Ardell 120 Demi. Last but not least, we want to highlight by the tear duct and I'm going to be using this white shimmery eyeshadow. So for the face, I don't want to bore you guys because I feel like I use this all the time. Every time I make a video, I will post all the products that I use on this video down below. Quickly, I use my foundation. I also bronze my face with my Benefit Hula bronzer. And for the cheeks, I applied this e.l.f. Studio blush and I believe it's Candid Coral. Yep, and it's Candid Coral. It's a really nice shimmery, glowy look that I like because I wanted to have like a little hint of blush, but I don't want it to overdo it because we have, you know, this bold blue eyeliner on our eyes and we're gonna go ahead and focus on the lips. On lips, we're gonna align our lips and this is the NYX in Hot Red. Then I'm gonna use this Fergie lipstick and it's called Sagarina. And I'm also going to apply another Wet n Wild matte lipstick and this one is called Red Velvet. It's a teeny little bit lighter than the lipstick that I just applied. So I'm just going to add this in the center of my lips. And last but not least, you guys know that I have to modify my face. Well, thank you guys so much for watching please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this tutorial this was very very simple you guys don't forget to follow me on my social media i have my instagram and my facebook fan page which i will leave the links down below also i invite you to check out my recent tutorials i will leave pictures here and i will also leave the links down below in case you're interested for those of you that love the world cup my argentina inspired look and also i have my latest the maybelline the nude palette too I hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful fourth of july long 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 weekend i hope you stay safe and thank you all for your comments your love my new subscribers all the above and until the next time i'll see you in the next video Besitos. bye